for, for sure, uh, the main uh, society in Europe that is uh, speaking and dealing with training is uh, the uh, European Endoscopic Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy, the ESGE. But uh, till now, ESGE did some uh, very good uh, quality courses of quality in endoscopy. They prepare a lot of uh, very good uh, uh, guidelines and endorsed uh, a lot of uh, meetings in which uh, also EUS uh, is uh, involved, like this meeting, uh, like other masterclass meeting uh, hands-on. But uh, ESG till now don't have uh, an uh, EUS uh, dedicated, uh, well structured uh, activity. For sure, this is uh, a, a meeting, a live course, a very good live course uh, that uh, have been held in, uh, in Europe for uh, many years. In uh, 2016, uh, they lost uh, one of uh, the guys who were. Uh, conducting uh, this uh, AROS meeting, but uh, they go on uh, with uh, the other guys. So we have uh, again a uh, AROS meeting in 2017 in Milan and also in, uh, always in Milan in 2018 and the next one will be in Milan in 2019 and then in uh, uh, Santiago de Compostela in 2020. Peter. Peter, uh, many years ago, has uh, created the North European US group. I well, uh, well remember this because we did uh, a joint meeting between uh, EGUS and the NEG in the second European meeting of uh, the uh, EGUS in Turin in 2007. And uh, today, Peter is... Uh, uh, preparing every year this Nordic EUS conference that is important for training for sure. And this is another big fellow in the field of EUS at the EAMC in Amsterdam. This, is, uh, this year is uh, the 21st uh, uh, live, uh, US live in Amsterdam uh, in, uh, in June. And uh, also Paul uh, will go on with uh, this uh, meeting. But uh, I think that uh, something new in the panorama of the European US being represented by the apparition of uh, the European Group for Endoscopic Ultrasonography. Uh, our trip started uh, in 2003 when we decided with some colleague, uh, French colleague and Belgian colleague to do, to do a first uh, three national meeting in Brussels in 2003. And uh, after this uh, success, uh, a panel of uh, Belgian, French, Italian and Spanish US experts, official representatives of the National US Association, founded the EGUS group. The success uh, of Paris, that was the first uh, EGUS Congress in 2005, convinced us to go on uh, together uh, with other European countries uh, that uh, are uh, 12 at the moment, but uh, we lost uh, only one group, uh, that is the Middle East and Africa US uh, interest group. And uh, this is a little of history. At the end of 2010, uh, the Russian Association for Specialists on EUS uh, joined the EJUS, uh, and then the Turkish US Group of Interest, the Middle East and Africa US Group, uh, formed by several uh, countries uh, in the Middle East and the Mediterranean Africa. Uh, but now we lost contact with them. In January 2012, uh, also the UK US user group became an official member of the EGUS, and then the Hungarian EUS Club, uh, the Portuguese group of ultrasound in gastroenterology, and uh, afterward the, the Romanian EUS group of interest, and the section for endoscopic ultrasound of the Croatian Society of Gastroenterology. But uh, the EGUS today is uh, not only Europe, we have uh, in uh, globally near 1,400 EGUS members for 35 uh, uh, countries, 
And uh, after eight years, starting from uh, 2009 uh, in, uh, in London, uh, our attempts to establish a connection with the SG succeeded. And uh, the present ESG president, Thierry Ponchon, in uh, May 2017 proposed to restart and reinforce the links and the cooperation between the ESGE and the EGUS. And the ESGE recognizes today that the EGUS is the only and true scientific society for endoscopic ultrasound in Europe. And uh, starting from the first edition of the ESG days in uh, April 2018, and from now on, there should be during the ESG days uh, at least one EGS ESG section with a program that uh, will be discussed and agreed with uh, uh, the board of the EGUS. This is uh, the ESG days in 2018 with uh, the first uh, EGUS SG session. But uh, um, going on in Prague 2019, uh, there will be four EGUS ESG sessions with all the US program of the SG days discussed and agreed with the board of the EGUS that uh, officially uh, became uh, become partner scientific partner of the ESG one of the EGUS main aims is to promote education and training of doctors and nurses in endosonography and uh, EGUS in this respect organizes an european meeting every 2 years you can see 2003, 2005, 2007 in Turin, 2009 uh, in, uh, in Barcelona, and then again in uh, Brussels, and uh, then uh, for the first time in Brussels, in collaboration with the Francophone US Club, uh, we have an uh, US live course, and then uh, the, in uh, Istanbul, uh, in uh, Edinburgh, uh, again in Turin and so on. Uh, we also perform uh, some international live courses from 2008 uh, mainly in, uh, in, uh, in Italy. And uh, in 2012, 2014, 2016, uh, the EGUS in collaboration with the Italian Society of Gastroenterology and Endoscopy organized the first, the second, the third edition of uh, our international US ERCP connection live course with more than uh, 10 hours of live demonstration and also theoretical lectures and uh, uh, in two days we will have the first edition in Turin as uh, I already said to you before. We also have uh, a totally uh, renewed website with uh, an interesting collection of US images and videos, presentation of international experts, news about uh, new and old US meetings and courses in the world, the video or image quiz of the month, and in the near future, we will have also proposal about multicenter studies, and uh, this is very important for training the EGUS proposition for US teaching modules uh, in, uh, in, uh, in Europe. This is uh, the the website. But uh, this uh, new website represents also, and this is very important for training, I think, a new platform fit for live and delayed streaming of excellent uh, quality. Since the last four years, we are trying to work on the, the possibility of e-learning and CME online courses or real-time live demonstration via internet. And in the next future programs, we try to standardize a formal US educational program in Europe to establish guidelines for education and some EGS certified US training centers to be proposed for a certified training. The three plus one EGS training modules are these. The first is not a module, it's online teaching, a sort of moral contract between one student and one senior. The student commitment is to send no more than three cases per month, videos but no more than three minutes with a complete description of the clinical case and the possibility to upload the video on the EGS website. The senior commitment in this moral contract is 
the proposition of language for discussion for at least one year. It will be uh, available, answer in no more than 10 days. Uh, the experience requires is of at least 300 US per year for more than 10 years. Uh, the module one is uh, called observation module. Uh, the period can go from one week to three months, uh, at least 15 US plus minus FNA per week uh, in the center is the minimum criteria. The module two is an Anson module at least four months, no more than 12 months, two, three months only observation, then hands on US plus minus FNA. The observation period at least 15 EUS plus minus FNA per week in the center. The hands-on period at least one examination per day or five per week. In the module three, it is about on-site formation. The teacher are going to the center with or without a pathologist because the conjunction with the pathologist is very important in order to have success with the FNA. Uh, it will be uh, short periods of work, two, three days. Uh, the aim is to help for a local organization, teaching of more, one of more endosonographers, having scientific session, theoretical or video session. EGUS will select some expert on specific criteria to be defined. The expert would be proposed by each national club and the final decision about uh, the experts would be taken by the EGUS board. Other upcoming proposition for EGUS uh, educational program, an efficient and uh, agile platform for remote learning and training it is uh, a program with uh, a friendly interface, a gradable, a live streaming platform. This is uh, different from the, uh, from the website that can connect trainees and trainers across the globe. It can uh, become a repository for live cases, expert lectures, uh, videos, podcasts that will be available. This is an educational project supported by Boston Scientific. Uh, its name is ePreceptor, and up to 200 users can connect simultaneously worldwide. And uh, 10, 11 European centers are uh, um, programmed to be equipped with this uh, ePreceptor. What about uh, some uh, educational program uh, in uh, the different uh, countries of the EGUS? Uh, the French House Club uh, has more than 300 members. It is one of the more active uh, club in uh, education for uh, EUS. Uh, they uh, are building an annual US meeting from many, many years, uh, uh, organizing the meeting always in January with a live demonstration uh, one year up of two. The French uh, Club and uh, the French Society for Endoscopy organize also an academic diploma of digestive EUS. It is a diploma uh, of at least two years after standard fellowship. The diploma started in 1993. It is a two-year course located in North Hospital Marseille. The director is Marc Barté. 20, 35 students are registered for the year and have to attend three sessions of one week, two theoretical plus one practical in three centers of Marseille per year. Evaluation at the end of the course with video quits. Uh, the diploma will be delivered if uh, the pupils will uh, succeed in the evaluation program, but uh, this diploma is not mandatory in order to perform EUS uh, even uh, in France. In other countries, for example in Italy, in Spain, Belgium, Germany, UK, Hungary and Turkey, the training uh, is uh, based on the national US training courses with different modules in distinct venues with basic and advanced courses. Some uh, postgraduate or post fellowship masters in advanced and therapeutic digestive endoscopy, including EUS or directly EUS masters, are uh, conducted in Italy and uh, in Spain. There are uh, specific US practical courses in the major centers, few hands on courses uh, in Europe. 
one annual meeting of the national club uh, or group of uh, EUS uh, uh, during uh, the National Gastroenterological or Endoscopic uh, uh, Congress. Some universities try to follow the new European rules for gastroenterology fellowship, including EUS theoretically or hands-on, over one or two years of uh, uh, fellowship. A series of US-specific trained trainers courses and uh, uh, young accredited basic US skill courses in the United Kingdom. Uh, Russian, Japanese, uh, US hands-on training and US life courses uh, are uh, mainly uh, um, conducted in, uh, in Russia. A number of courses, basic or advanced, were held in different countries by companies like Pentax, Olympus, but also Boston Scientific and Cook in Germany, in Italy, in Turkey. Webinars and e-learnings, another way of training, usually are short visits abroad in the United States, in Japan, in other European countries. And uh, you can train yourself by educational videos, uh, monthly clinical cases, image atlas and recorded past courses that are available in various uh, national uh, websites. Some countries like France, Hungary and Germany introduced already or are introducing the license exam or the certification for credentialing US but the license is not yet mandatory for practicing U.S. and is only recommended. So, in conclusion, U.S. practice is expanding in Europe in many countries, but in some countries it's often self-taught and this is not correct today. No conditions are required to be able to perform U.S. even where there is a U.S. diploma or similar teaching activities. EUS today has been included in the European Gastroenterological Fellowship Program that should be shared in all countries, all the European countries, but, but during fellowship, US learning is not efficient in most countries. So we must say that uh, there is uh, for sure a strong need for organized training. And this is very important in my mind today. In the near future, we should start to think how to evaluate the results of our training programs. It is no more a matter of doing 150 procedures, 200 procedures, 50 uh, EUSFNA tutored. We must share the ideas and decide how to assess the competency of our trainees. Recently, it has been recommended, it is a UK recommendation, to assess trainees' competency using a direct observation of procedural skills, the DOPS system, which only recently has been added to the JAG Joint Advisory Group Endoscopy Training System in the UK, but it should still start. We are looking for and now started a cooperation with other US groups outside Europe, example, Croatia, the Asian US group, and uh, the prediction of outcome, uh, as uh, usually, is very difficult, especially about the future. Thank you very much for your attention.